epidemic is a major problem in the U.S. Now CVS is doing their part to help fight back. 7 Action News reporter Anu Prakash is live with what the company is doing, Anu. Well, Glenda, one thing is that there will soon be more CVS stores like this one where you can go in and dispose of unwanted medication so it doesn't end up in the wrong hands. And there are also changes to the way drugs will be dispensed. CVS is taking a big step to try and help combat the opioid epidemic in our country. We've gone too far in one direction in terms of use, this kind of liberal use of uh, medications to treat pain and we have to do something different. That means the company will expand its drug disposal collection program by adding 750 kiosks to its stores around the country so people can safely dispose of unwanted medication. Its drug management division, CVS Caremark, is rolling out a new approach for all commercial health plan, employer and Medicaid clients as of February 1st of next year unless they opt out. That will include limiting to seven days the supply of opioids dispensed for certain acute prescriptions for patients who are new to therapy. Jerry Valentine says he was injured in 2003 and suffers from chronic pain and needs his medication. He says he feels good about the positive steps CVS is taking, but hopes it ultimately won't get in the way of what he needs. I think it's a good thing. It keeps, keeps it out of kids' hands, um, but it makes it harder on people like myself. Another aspect of this is strengthening patient counseling. So pharmacists will counsel them on risks of dependence and also making sure they know just how important it is to keep medications in a secure place at home so they don't end up in the wrong hands. Live in Brownstown Township, Anu Prakash, 7 Action News. All right, Anu, 